or was a longtime resident of Durham about four or five years prior to 2012 when um, my mom passed away traumatically. And that led me to leave the Triangle area, my job, everything, to go and you know tend to business with her. But I came back to Durham with the concept and the idea that you know when I returned there would be an opportunity for affordable housing for my son and I. I have a two-year-old son. Okay, my name is Larry Lee. I'm at the Urban Ministry. I've been here since July, and I got Section 8 through the HUD RAS program. And for a while it took a long time because. Um, the people weren't taking two bedroom vouchers, they was only taking one bedroom vouchers. Then finding people to take the vouchers was very hard to do. I got my extra voucher in August. I made about 20, 30 calls, then I paid one application fee, but after they got the application, they said I wasn't suitable for, uh, because of my credit. I think the rising cost of housing here has is, is actually been a setback, you know, for those of us who want to come and to live, you know. I think that's what I'd like to address most. You run into a hopelessness and you don't ever want to have a resident of a, of a place called home, you know, feeling hopeless. There's enough here to go around, there's enough and plenty for us to share and to grow with. We don't want to feel helpless. We want to we want to grow and prosper as well and have the resources and I, you know, to do so. I was blessed to have had a stable roof over my head, you know, throughout my childhood and young adult life and then to be thrown kind of out of that and in to a instability that's unexplainable. You 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 do have a roof over your head, but that's for a limited time. You don't want to accept mail at certain places because you don't know how long you're going to be there, but things are important and you have to have an address to keep a license, you have to have an address to vote, you have to have an ad to exist. We have to figure out something by the end of the year. Um, the place that we are staying at now, the person will be coming, returning back to their room on December 22nd. So everything's urgent, you know, there, there's, what is January going to look like? Yeah, it's the uh, city council, because that's what they said they was going to do. Help in homeless and uh, work together with the people. So, do what you was voted in to do. That's all.